What's going on y'all? Today we're going to start prepping for winter uh, with the truck. As you can see, got diesel heater and going to fire it up, make sure everything works on it, and then go through the process of installing it. But first things first, let's put some diesel in this thing and make sure it even works. So we have the unit itself. Uh, I bought the all-in-one. It's got really good reviews, so we'll We'll see if it lives up to the hype. Um, it did not come with this, but I'm going to put this 12 volt plug on the back and see if it'll power off of the 240 Jackery. If not, then I'll use the 500. Uh, came with assorted hose clamps, uh, remote control, mounting hardware. This is for exhaust. This is intake, uh, breather, filter for the intake silencer for the exhaust and then uh, ducting and then this is a mount for the exhaust so uh, let's get some diesel in here get it wired up and see if it works it does come with a pretty good length of wire and an inline fuse Again, this is just a temporary wiring to make sure this sucker even works. And once we confirm that, I'll do some proper connections. And yes, there's diesel in here, and I know it's a red can and not a yellow can. But I was not... I was not going to buy another can just for this. I'll just put a little bit in there for now just to make sure it fires up. All right, it's definitely working. That is putting out some crazy heat. I don't imagine this instruction book is going to be worth much, uh, especially considering somebody. Especially considering somebody decided to snack on it. So we're going to let that cool down. Looks like I used just in a, the startup phase, they used a couple percent off the, uh, the 240 Jackery. So now I have to decide where I want to put it. My intention was to put it at the back of the truck. All right, like I said, I want to, uh, I want to mount this inside and I think I'm going to put it at the back of the truck versus towards the, or what would be the front of the bed towards the cab versus back here. Usually this is where the Jackery is set up is back here. This is where the, the LED lights plug in uh, to the Jackery is back here. And yeah, so I think that's gonna be the best bet. I'm gonna at least put a two by four under each end just to raise it up from the floor a little bit. So I think, yeah, this back, this back corner against the cab, I'm gonna cut out just the carpet right here. Okay, let's cut this uh, carpet out of here. Okay. I uh, just cut a cut a couple of two by threes for feet just to give it some more some more clearance here. Um, this will come out the bottom. I gotta figure out exactly where the hole is gonna go up there, but first I need to see what's underneath. <laughs> so we wanna make sure we're not going to drill through into something. Don't look like there's anything up there. All right, so we got it situated. Got the carpet cut out. This is its final resting place. Some people build kits to where they can just leave it outside their vehicle and then they route the um, the ducting 
for the heat to come in through one of the windows. I don't want to do that. I want it to be completely self-contained in case, you know, if you're traveling and you got to stay somewhere, a rest stop or a loves or whatever, like we've had to do several times um, for stealth camping, I want completely self-contained. I don't want to have to put a unit outside and run ducting. I don't want to do all that. The most important thing is just making sure you have a good secure connection, I think, with the exhaust so it's not leaking uh, into the into the truck. Yeah, I'm going to figure out where I need to drill some holes at and drill some holes in the bed. I think the easiest way to do this. Not a big fan of drilling a hole through the floor of my truck, but you can always fill it, right? It's just a thing. This one here is going to be for the exhaust and then for the uh, fresh air intake. I just went through the little rubber plug back there and I'm going to put this, uh, the filter between the cab and the bed. It's kind of nice they put this little slot right here so you can get your screwdriver through to tighten those down. All right, now we just got to stick it through the hole there. But first, I got to clean this mess up. did it so now we gotta go get underneath the truck and figure out the best way to route this exhaust the most important thing is going to be keeping paying attention to where where it's exhausting at uh, you don't want it to be coming back up through the hole in the bed you just you don't want it to you know the bed is not completely sealed there is small gaps in it just in, in the manufacturing process so let's go see all right so there's where the exhaust is coming out of the truck. And then over here. See that is the intake between the cab and the bed. We'll put the breather on. We'll probably just leave that right there. That'll be fine. These pipes are really stiff. That's what she said. They're hard to handle. That's what she said. No time. No time. That's fine. I don't have I don't have any issues with that. It's there's enough airflow out here and it's not pointing it's not directly under the truck. I mean it's Yeah. We're gonna go there with it. That's about the best option. So what I'm gonna do is I put this bracket on here. I just have a really short self-tapping screw. I'm gonna put in right there. Enough to hold it. There it is. Let's double check the tightness of that. That's good. We are rocking on this thing. This install was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, all I've really got left is just put this on. And then I just got to clean up uh, my wire connections. And we'll be good. Let's turn this bad boy on and see what, what we got now that it's all hooked up. I don't know how, how loud that's showing up on the, uh, on the mic. It's not horrible. You can hear the pump kicking, obviously. Um, but I just cranked this thing up to... That's not even all the way up. 
3.7 and that that is crazy hot I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit and see how it does burn off any factory gunk get rid of all the new new smells basically um, I just got to finish up that that little bit of wiring and that's it all right guys that's gonna do it for this one um, pretty easy install when it comes down to it uh, especially these all-in-one units you don't have to mess with figuring out where to mount the pump and the gas tank and all that um, I think it was like hundred and fifty bucks on Amazon I will uh, I'll leave a link down in the description for it um, yeah I uh, I think it installed way easier than I had anticipated. Uh, it's cool that it runs off the Jackery, the 240 watt Jackery. Uh, I'll probably end up taking the 500 in the winter time just because um, we won't really have the sun that we do in the in the summer to, to charge it back up or to keep it charged. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, I'll give an update video in the future once I'm out camping in it this winter. It's like 70 degrees today, so we're still a little ways away. Um, but it's coming so if you enjoyed this video if you got something out of it if it helps you make your decision on whether or not to buy one of these or how to install it it's easy enough to do as long as you're comfortable drilling a hole in the bed of your truck um, you can always plug it if you screw up so uh, anyway give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing to follow along on future modifications we do the truck or the van or just to follow along on adventures that we go on thanks for watching see you next time